um, would you be interested in appearing in an episode with the new Doctor, Shudi Gatwa, in the future? Last weekend, I was getting ready for Supernova Gold Coast to interview Sophie Aldred. After not getting much sleep, I picked out my favourite Doctor Who shirt and we drove all the way to the beautiful Gold Coast. When we got there though, parking was completely full, so we had to park a long way away and carry all our camera gear there. But my frustrations were soon forgotten as we made it to the Gold Coast Exhibition Centre. This place was massive. After sitting in listening to Carl Urban talk for a while, we hit the ground looking for any Doctor Who things we could find, just to get us in that Doctor Who mindset before interviewing Sophie. Then, after having some non-sponsored cola, I was ready for my first Doctor Who thing of the day. I got to sit in on Mark Shepard's talk, who you might remember played Canton in the Series 6 opener, and that was sensational. I actually got to chat to him a little bit, but that video will be for another day. But alas, it was finally time for Sophie Aldred to answer some Crispy Pro subscriber questions. Hello, Whovians. Crispy Pro here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am joined by the one, the only, the magnificent Sophie Aldred. How are you? Hi! I'm great, thank you. That's excellent. So you're here at Supernova. How are you finding it? You having fun? I'm having really good fun. I've met two people who I've only ever Zoomed with. Oh, wow. And I've seen them in 3D for the first time. So oh, that's so really that's, special. That's nice. And just amazing people with amazing stories to tell. And it's just lovely to, to see people. And also the other guests, you know, oh, yeah. meet, meeting meeting cool people, people yeah. who I've never seen before. And being on the Gold Coast. Oh, yeah, oh, it's quite my nice. Goodness. The sunny Gold Coast. And they've given us some good weather today, which is very nice. It's really very, lovely, very lovely here, yeah. You know what else is lovely? Go These on. fan questions that oh. have been sent in for you. Great. So I'm going to start with the first one here. Okay, super. This one is if the classic series hadn't ended in 1989 and you were able to film a departure story for Ace, how would you have wanted that to be? Good question. Wow. Well, I would have liked to have done one of the ideas that was mooted at the time for Ace, which was that the Doctor was going to take her to Gallifrey mm. and have her trained up by the Time Lords. Oh, nice. She'd really put the wind up the Time Lords. Yeah. You know, she'd be <laughs> yeah, yeah. she'd exactly. be taking Nitro Nine to Gallifrey. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So I think I think probably that's the one that I would nice. have gone for. Absolutely, yeah. oh, I would love to have seen that. Love to have seen that. What um, has been your favourite Doctor Who story to be a part of? Whether that be the main show, or Big Finish, or anything. I know it's a big oh, question. Oh yeah, that's a huge question. I love it all, but I think possibly I'm a huge fan of TV and yeah. film. And I love the buzz I get when I'm on a film set or a, a TV set. So for me, I think probably maybe one of the classic stories because yeah. of going on location, although The Power of the Doctor was fantastic yeah. as well, because <laughs> I got to work with Janet. Oh, yes. Of um, and Jodie and, and Mandit. Um, but I think probably one of the ones like The Curse of Fenric, which oh, was yeah, an yeah. entirely location story for four episodes. Mm. So we were away the entire time on location. And of course, that's always, it's hard it's work, but it's yeah. fun work. And you're with the cast and crew, you're staying in hotels together. So mm. it's a bit like being on a kind of working holiday. It's like a school excursion. It is, <laughs> it is. And I th we did at the time all travel around in coaches yeah. and things. Nice. So it was, it was like a school trip. So a lot of questions came in about your famous jacket. So we were wondering, did you have any say in that design or was that purely the costume department? I had all the same nice. design. Nice, that was the answer yes. I was looking for. Very, very good. Um, I'd seen some photographs of um, some girls clubbing in, yeah. in this very trendy magazine called The Face. Nice. And I took the magazine to the costume designer and I said, you know, how about this? Mm. And he said, yeah, we can do that. Nice. So we went round together basically and I said, yeah, I'll have that one and I'll have that and that. And then I brought a lot of my own badges nice. um, to decorate it with. And um, I, I had no idea. I just liked these <laughs> certain badges I had and it's I had so no cool. idea that all these years later, people would be Still looking on eBay and oh, trying to get gosh. the badges and, well, you know. That brings me to my next question. Do you have a favourite badge on the jacket? Oh, I think my favourites have got to be the Blue Peter ones. Nice. Um, because they were mine. Yeah. My very own ones from 1970-something. Wow. That I won. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they, 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 they really mean something Very to me. Very sentimental. Yeah. What was it like working with the one, the only Sylvester McCoy? How oh. was that? 
I think it's one of the great highlights of my life yeah. to have worked with Sylvester and still working with him, obviously, exactly. all these years later. Mm. Um, we, we just became very good friends very quickly. It's perfect. And uh, we still are. We love spending time together. And he taught me such a lot. I mean, I didn't know anything about TV filming because it's my first TV job. Massive TV and, job. Um, yeah, mm. exactly. It was one of the most sort of iconic roles in British TV. Oh, my gosh. And um, I just, like, I, I watched him and I watched the way that he worked an audience. I mean, yeah. I know there's not an audience, but it's a camera. And, um, and yeah, I learned a lot of tricks from, from Sylvester. And uh, yeah, and we just, we, we always have a wonderful time whenever we're together. That's perfect, that is amazing. Well, from one doctor to another, how was it working with Jodie for the power of the doctor? It was an absolute joy. It was a similar energy to Sylvester because her doctor has that same kind of life, energy, vibrancy. Yeah. And from the moment she kind of bounded onto the set to meet me and Janet, we knew we'd found a friend. Oh yeah. And um, she just, what was great about her which was similar with Sylvester, was that the whole crew absolutely adored her and, um, and she, was, she knew everybody so well. Yeah. She made it her business to, um, to get to know people, to get to um, uh, know all about their lives. And um, so she was their friends. And uh, so it, was, it felt like true teamwork. It was, That's yeah. That's amazing. It was and it great. was an amazing episode. It was so nice to have you back. Oh, it was wonderful to be back. Oh, exactly. Well, speaking of which, um, would you be interested in appearing in an episode with the new Doctor, Shudi Gatwa, in the future? Yeah, wh where's the contract? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sign so, I'll, it now. I'll get it ready. Yeah. Uh, it's right back there. Yeah, yeah, I'll make yeah. something up. Great. But yeah, no, absolutely. We would love to have you back. And that's it for this interview. So I thank you so much. Thank you for being very here. much. And you're a legend. And oh. do you have anything you want to promote, or are you just here for fun? <laughs> Um, I'd just like to promote uh, Doctor Who in general, you know, and for people to keep on watching, keep spreading the word, keep loving Doctor Who. And that was it. Sophie was absolutely lovely and it was a true privilege to talk to her. You can really tell that she cares about the show and cares about the fans a lot. A massive thank you to my wonderful girlfriend for being camera woman on the day and a massive thank you to Lionel for organising these interviews. Sophie, it's been amazing to have you. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. And that's a cut. <laughs>